In the specification of our sensors, we indicate the nominal resistance at zero degrees Celsius. Accordingly, a PT-100 has a resistance of 100 ohms at zero degrees Celsius. And a PT-1000 has a resistance of 1000 ohm at zero degrees Celsius. We offer a PT-100 and a PT-1000 as standard products. PT-200 and PT-500 are also standard nominal resistance for certain industries. We can produce higher resistance values as well, for example, at PT-10,000. The differences between the sensor types are shown on the next slide. It also demonstrates why a PT-10,000 is very costly and complex to manufacture. Shown is a SMD0805. To clarify the properties, we see the comparison to a one cent piece. From the X-rays, we can see the meander structure of the sensor. The table shows us the width of the conducting path, the width between them and the length of the meander in percentage. From this illustration, it becomes clear that with a higher nominal resistance, the width of the conducting path and width between the conducting path becomes finer and finer as the meander becomes longer. In the case of the PT-10,000, the structure of the meander is hardly identifiable, even in the highly magnified image. The production of a PT-10,000 is accordingly complex due to the more integrated meander and therefore not a standard product. On this slide, we see a general comparison of the resistance values. The resistance at zero degrees Celsius for PT-10,000 is 10 times higher compared to PT-100. To prevent a self-heating effect, the PT-100 can be supplied with a higher current than the PT-1000. We recommend a measuring current of 0.3 to 1 milliampere for the PT-100 and 0.1 to 0.3 milliampere for the PT-1000. The PT-1000 also has a steeper characteristic curve, which has a positive effect on the resolution of the measurement signal. Furthermore, the resistance of the connected cable has a greater effect on the PT-100. What this means exactly will be shown on the next slides. The characteristic curves of the PT-100 and the PT-1000 are shown. The effect of a higher resistance value on the finances of the meander can be explained using Ohm's law. The PT-1000 has a higher resistance value than the PT-100. So it has a finer meander than the PT-100. Also, a common misconception is that the PT-1000 has a higher measurement accuracy. This is, however, not the case. Both sensor types have the same measurement accuracy. This fact is depicted in this graph. It describes the change in resistance and percentage which is the same for the PT-100 and PT-1000. However, a long cable lead can cause a measurement error. The length of the cable has a greater influence on the PT-100 sensor. Accordingly, with a long cable, the PT-1000 is preferred. Alternately, a three or four wire connection can be used to minimize this influence.